All right, so another example of expanding a logarithm. And here we're going to do uh, part B. So we've got uh, the logarithm of the quantity x squared plus 1 cubed times y to the fourth all over z to the fifth. And recall my base here is base 10. If we just write log, typically uh, we mean base 10. So I'm going to kind of do the first thing that I did, uh, you know, in part A. I see a fraction, so I'm going to write it, again, uh, using a subtraction sign. Okay, so another good mnemonic. Fractions become subtractions. So I'm going to leave everything in the numerator alone. I'm just going to rewrite it just like it was. And I'm going to subtract away the logarithm of whatever's in the denominator. And now, again, I think it's a lot like my first problem. I see a multiplication inside of here. So I'm going to break this up. My first term is addition. So I've got the logarithm of this first part, x squared plus 1 cubed, plus, well, then we'll have the logarithm of the remaining stuff, which is just going to be y to the fourth. I'll leave my logarithm of z to the fifth alone. And now the last thing I'll do is I'm just going to use this property that says, hey, that uh, we can pull our exponents out front. And y to the fourth, you know, we could have certainly uh, had the exponent of the four on the outside if we wanted to. Uh, says the exact same thing. So again, we still have this exponent. We can pull it out front. The same thing with the exponent of five. We can pull it out front. And that'll be our last step. So it says we have 3 times the logarithm of x squared plus 1 plus 4 times the logarithm of just y minus 5 times the logarithm of z, or having just come back from London, uh, z. Okay, everybody used to yell at me over there for talking about z. So minus 5 log z for my... For my uh, English friends out there. So, so that's all there is to it. We've now got this expanded into, uh, you know, multiple logarithms. And again, this is kind of, you know, it may seem, uh, you know, like throwing logarithms in there is, is needlessly complicating things. But these properties, again, these properties are kind of the, uh, you know, these are kind of the magic of logarithms. Because in a sense, what it does is, it takes something, you know, that involves a lot of uh, exponents and multiplication and division, and somehow it's breaking them up into, you know, kind of more uh, simple functions, okay, where it just in involves addition and subtraction. So that's actually one of the nice properties is by introducing logarithms, you can take, uh, you know, you can take uh, problems involving multiplication and division and powers and somehow break those up into... Uh, problems involving, well, just addition and subtraction and still a little multiplication. So, um, again, it may seem like logarithms are making life a little bit miserable, but they certainly do uh, very important, very useful, okay, because of these properties of, uh, again, you know, just taking multiplication, turning it into addition, division somehow turns into subtraction, and raising something to a power turns into just multiplication. So, all right, so uh, in a separate video, I'm going to go backwards, and we'll just take a single logarithm and write it, uh, or excuse me, we'll take a, a logarithm that has multiple terms, um, an expression that involves multiple logarithms, and we'll write that as a single logarithm.